Much better, much better. There we go. Okay. So I definitely had too strong of a uh, green filter, so there we go. Also, maybe I had to change the background one of these times because now we're starting to, now we're in March and we're starting to see warmer weather. Right now where I'm at is 60 degrees and sunny, so yeah, the winter background is gonna, is gonna go here at some point. Anyways, let's see. What if I do uh, 100 ton, then I'll end up with ADCD, which is... Probably not ideal, considering the type of, uh, the, considering the way the co this course is laid out, so, yeah, we'll go with this, and then this alligator man, do we do brown, or we do purple? Actually, I have my own website. Indeed. And then... Yes. For those about to rock, we salute you. Because I'm trying to remember how much loyalty I have for each caddy. I think I've at least once triggered uh, the you've gained loyalty for this caddy. I'm not, I'm not sure if there's multiple tiers of loyalty in the same way there are for golfers. Like for several golfers, I have a half heart, but not the full heart and some I don't, so... I'm not sure if the same- I, I'm not 100% if the same thing is sure for the caddies, but we'll, yeah, we'll just go random anyway. See what we get. I'll take care of you. Yeah. Sophie is incredibly weird. Greg is incredibly weird. If anything, Brenda is probably overall just the least weird. But she still speaks a lot of, like, crazy southern comfort food references. Alright, so I have third- so I got 13 badges here. Which ones do I need in particular? 5, 8. Ooh, 8 definitely did not go well before. Yeah, that sounds that definitely sounds about right. Yeah, pretty good week here. Um first week of the month uh, as far as finance goes. So for the most for the most part it's um it's been a relief uh after how busy things were second half of last month. Um, but, yeah. So. I just realized that I am broadcasting in uh, 1440p, but... Um, hopefully that won't be an issue. But I'm only... I'm only uh, yeah, because I use 1440 for uh, local recording and I forgot to change it back, but... Doesn't, doesn't appear to be a problem here. I'm only burning 20% CPU, which is, I guess, a testament to how decent my rig is. You know, finally, after so many years. Alright. Okay, so 4, 8, 10, 11, 13. Okay. And we haven't even done back tees yet. Do, do, do. Yeah, this course, yeah, this course is pretty, pretty crazy. Like, this and Silk Road are definitely my favorites thus far. Okay. I'm just gonna do a nice little three hour session here since I right now have plenty of I have plenty of footage to uh um last YouTube through f for a while. Okay. Yep, those are definitely those are gonna be my lottery numbers. Although as a mathematical person I am wholly aware of the lotteries essentially being mathematical taxes. But yeah, you know, that's... that's a subject in and of its own right. Okay. I think here we just do a, a comfy 7-iron with just a little bit of bite that I, I would like to hope will get over the tree. Yeah, this should definitely have enough loft. No problem. Nice rising ball. Okay, it's a good thing I did super because I need a little bite. Good stuff, okay. Please don't be too hard. Okay, yeah. When I've had some free time uh, this week, I uh, have been doing uh, a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of Hot Shots 3 practicing because I do want to take uh, that speedrun record back eventually. Um, no I don't. I do not. Uh, 
Um, I might, although I might possibly, uh, I might possibly look into, uh, tapping into, uh, some other, some other three-click golf games at, at around the, at around, like, you know, that the, the general, you know, 2000 to 2010 era that I have in my possession. Like, uh, I think there's some, like, I think, I can't remember if it's called, like, Super Swing Golf or something for the Wii. I, I heard that that's pretty good, and I, I do happen to have that in my possession, so maybe I'll give that a try. Um, I also have, I, I also, I can't remember 100% if I have Outlaw Golf or not. That's, that definitely, that game actually kind of looks sort of like, sort of like it could be fun. Even if I don't have it, it should be easy enough for me to find a second-hand store. And probably pretty cheap, too. Yeah, second-hand stores have absolutely no shortage of, uh, of retro sport titles. Just because they inherently don't age as well, unless they kind of go with, go along with a more sort of a, uh, um, cartoony style and are, like, more unique and they're not, like, you know, annual franchises like, say, Tiger Woods goes. Like, those games individually have not aged as well. This might either this might be either over aimed or something. No, it's not. Okay. Okay, we got the excessively limber Hubert here. Yeah, of, cor of course it's the par fives that give me. Oh, I remember this one. This is the one with the freaking bunker with the guns and super elevated green. So then the question becomes: Do you take this really long path? Or do, and then, or do you take this way, and then just you know, kind of try to dig yourself up? Most of the time, I've been going this way without too much of an issue. It's it's a pretty it's a pretty safe drive, but the second shot is definitely adventurous. I definitely did screw that up, but uh, let's see. Thankfully, I don't need this badge. So, I'm just going to give this a really hard smack and see see what sort of adventure I go on here. Because, yeah, this slopes like a mofo. This is about the best I can do here. Okay, so that's even, hard, that's even harder than I needed it to be. Okay. Okay. Although, the math, the math there could have been worse. I was trying to account a little bit for that, too. And overhitting is, well, I mean, it could have been problematic, I guess. Alright. Keep rolling, rolling. Oh, that's that's something I forgot I was going to do, but it probably wouldn't take long to just do a little, uh, do a little, you know, keep rolling, rolling, rolling animation as something that people can spend their, point, their Yoshi gold on. Okay, we'll mark that on our card here. Oh, okay, I do have a badge on four, but I don't have one on five. All right, I misremember. Okay, so this is one of those exotic par fives. Yeah, this would be okay. So this is a this is convenient because this does help me assess what I want to do. Okay, so if I were to go here, I'd have a good two sixty to the flag. Whereas if I go here. I st okay, I still have a lot, but which flag do we have? Which flag do we have? We have one of the rear flags. So... Hmm. Maybe I'll try going this way this time. Yeah, I'll try going this way. See where we go. Oh, that's, oh, yeah, that wind definitely did a lot. Okay. It's a 251, so that's going to be a driver. Yeah, that's going to be a driver. Where the hell are you taking me? Wow, okay. All right, this is, this is going to be a fascinating shot here. So, I'm going to do a big, delicious draw.
Yeah. Yeah, this was going to be tricky one way or another. Goodness. Okay, how bad how bad is that? All right, that's not horrible. I thought about it, but I I figured to, I figured if I hit my shot perfect, I wouldn't need it. There's a tendency there's a tendency I feel to uh overhit with the driver. But not that time, it seems. Either, either way or another, I would have absolutely needed a sweet spot. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be tricky. I was enjoying the beach. The doctor was seeing you now. Ah, enjoying the beach, were ya? Okay. Alright, well, we'll just cap this off for a, a little birdie then. Okay, no biggie. Damn, seven, seven meter wind. That is lots. Oh, that's right. This is the hole where you can try to carry a bunch, and if you don't succeed, then that's bad. That's right. This is one of those do or die holes. Ugh. But if I don't do that, then... And I think one time I did this, I failed, and then another time I, I did things the conservative way, and I still didn't get the birdie, so... Uh, what are you gonna do sometimes, right? Well, my caddy's not screaming at me, so I'm gonna assume we're, we're doing fine here. Okay, okay. Man, wind is strong here, okay. Yeah, wind is strong here today. We don't need backspin because it's a freaking sand wedge. It'll it'll get loft and all that as is. It'll stop quickly on its own. This shot won't hurt a bit. Easy does it. Alright, excellent. So yeah, almost almost no slope here, so just a tiny bit left and then a tiny bit right, so with the correct amount of power, this should all cancel. Just don't overthink it. And there we go. That's one. That's one I needed. Okay. 8, 10, 11, 13. Good stuff today. Uh-oh. Okay, alright, alright. Had a little drop there for a short while. E. Okay. Well, thankfully, I'm doing a local recording as a backup, so you know, if if things go if things kind of go weird on Twitch, then I I always have a backup that I'm uploading to YouTube now, and then I just chop up and do all that. So, because my system can take it, I can do simultaneous stream and record. The system can take it. I was gonna say, what's wrong with this shot? Oh, okay, it must have sliced. All right, all right, all right, all right. No big deal. No big deal at all. Okay. Thirty percent. Ninety percent. Ninety percent. What am I seeing? Pin to win. Yep, indeed. Don't overthink it. A little left. That's going to be the predominant thing, but not much, though. Not much. Okay. Okay. Not too worried about that. Hole 8, though. I'm trying to remember what that was. That's another one of those exotic par 5s where failure is kind of, can be catastrophic. So... Okay. Do 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 do. Ba -da -ba 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 -da. All right, we got a combination of things. We got fairway slope and wind, so that's going to be even more than typical. I know it looks like I'm aiming a lot, but yeah, the wind really does a thing here in these games. 
Especially if you also like to do backspin. Oh. I probably even slightly overhead, but we'll see. Maybe maybe we'll get some backspin. Good stuff. Good stuff. Wow, a lot of these putts are pretty easy here. Yeah, fortunate here as far as putting angles go. Okay, nice. Crocodile face. What was the... Oh, that's right. This gosh forsaken thing with the waterfall. Okay. Yeah, we're not even risking that today. Yeah, no, we're... Yeah, no, we're, we're not doing that. In fact, if I press start... And I try to get the view thing... Okay, so... As long as... Yeah, so I, I can just take a driver to the green if I land safely here. No biggie. The problem is, I think I might hook slightly and end up in the bunker. But then I just try to safely dig out and work from there. Or maybe or maybe I'm not in a bunker. Okay. Alright. So we're not going to triple bogey. Oof, yikes. We got kind of a frontish flag and we got some crazy nonsense here. How do I... Yeah, so... It's gonna be interesting, but maybe maybe the idea here is to land ashore and just run the ball. Like, keep running the ball through everything. That'll be interesting. I only have five power shots, so... I don't really... I don't really feel like using one here. So what we're gonna do... Is something like this. And just let the ball run a shit ton. Not bad. Not bad. I aimed a little bit left just to be safe. Then two putts to finish it. Yeah, two putts to finish it. Assuming assuming I don't sink this, but I I could very well sink this. This doesn't look too bad. Delicious! Alright, smarter not harder. Okay. Excellent. That's how we do. Okay. Elevated and wind. Okay, so we definitely... Oh yeah, this. Okay, so I gotta do... D, D down is is uh, the, the grass button here. Whereas, in Hot Shots 3, R2 is the... Uh, yeah, R2 is, is R2D2 is our uh, is our button. So okay, so a three. This is gonna be a little firm, but it's better than being short, I think. Although I guess it was just that elevated. Okay. I feel like when you're trying to compensate for elevation changes, usually about a uh, three to one ratio works pretty well. So for every three, so for every three feet, you got to do a thing. Then uh, every three yards, you do a thing. Then you add a yard or subtract a yard or whatever. So yeah, about a three to one ratio. That seems to overall work pretty well. It's not perfect, but it works well enough. Okay, so coming into the back nine, this is where I definitely need badges. Oh, is this another one of those short do or dies? Yes, it is. Okay, yeah, no, we with yeah, no, not with this win. We can't threaten that. Amy is in, in a good position as is, so we'll just take her lead here. And then just in case the tree's in the way, but I highly doubt it would be. Yeah, I highly doubt it. Okay. So we got a little bit of a little bit of tropic stuff, a little bit of elevation. Okay, a little over 90%. Should be good. Go 
Don't bite too much. You're in the waiting room. This would be key for us. Wow, these these yeah, these are not breaking much. This is uh fortunate, I feel. Not breaking much. I guess if there's one easy thing about this course, it's green it's the greens. Okay. Try to get this one too. Alright, where are we going? Yeah, where are we going? Okay, I see. Alright. As long as they don't end up in a bunker, I think I'm okay. Yeah, Hubert is pretty well balanced, I feel. He's, uh, good like that. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we going down, but... I feel like, uh, yeah, pitching is gonna be short, so... You now we're, we're gonna do a good old-fashioned, like, 90% of the 9. That'll work out nicely. Yeah, that's not as, not quite as hard as I would like to go, but we'll see. We'll see. I feel like a lot of shots go further than you, than you think they should because of the relationship with carry and run. This would be key for us. Okay. Wow, this looks pretty damn easy, too, so... Don't overthink it, just shoot. Try not to factor a slope that's not there. This is a man of right angles. Alright, all that's left is 13. Jolly good, okay. Ah, oh, it's one of these split fairways, huh? Okay. Split fairway. For this flag, left would be optimal. Yeah, left would be optimal to attack a right flag. Excellent, okay. Slightly elevated, slightly sloped. Okay. This ought to work pretty nicely, I feel. Don't bite too much. I was already short. This would be key for us. Oh, finally, some break. Okay. Alright. Just a little bit. And just let her, let her, let her trickle. Yeah, that was too hard. Okay. Not a badge I needed, so that's fine. That's fine. Next hole. Next hole. Okay. Par 3. Oh dear. Alright. Yeah, I guess par 3s are always some of the tougher ones, so especially... Lawn and downhill, okay. So I can club down. Yeah, I can totally club down. In fact, if I'm feeling super audacious, I can totally club down again. Yeah. Yeah, this ought to be just fine. Since we're going quite a ways down. Oh, slow down! Holy shit. Okay, so I need maybe super back, maybe. Yikes, okay. Ah, shucks. Well. I would love to sink this, but let's see here. You know what? You know what would be quite strange... Let's see. 0.9 feet up. A little bit of rough, a little bit of tumble. I bet you don't see too many hotshots players take out the putter from rough. I didn't aim enough, gosh darn it. Oh well. So that'll be the one hole I'll have to come back for for a badge if I wanted to. Oh well, that's a tricky one anyway. Okay. Ah, uh, giant dog leg in par 4 with a shortcut that obviously wants to be taken. But the problem is my full power means... Okay, so I'd be 160 out of way if I did that, but if I go here... Yeah, I'd be further away, so that's not even a shortcut at all, so... Yeah. 
Yeah, don't you all try to scam me. This is this is gonna be the better way to go. Almost always here. Ooh, pirate booty. Yes. We got some booty. Freaking bug fables music. Ah. Holy vaccination. Yeah, if you can, if you somehow acquire like a bunch of a bunch of money early, and you get yourself the, uh, um, you know, the boat ride to uh, Metal Island. Oof. If you get the earlier you can you get to Metal Island, then the easier your playthrough will be because there is so much good shit there on Metal Island. Even though you're you're probably not intended to actually go there until chapter six, but you can totally go there as early as uh, as early as chapter two. Although the the boat to get to Metal Island costs a a, a, a shit ton, so usually usually the overall best way to do that is to uh, um, is to do all the spy card stuff, which you know which. You'll be able to you'll be able to complete that whole quest as early as chapter four. Ah, oh, this hole. I like this one. I just got to figure out. Okay, there's plenty of room there. Just have to fit, have to draw around the rocks. Just got to land safely, and then the rest will come. The rest will come easy. Yeah, especially we roll a bunch. Then we got all these lovely tiki heads. Yeah, looking pretty crispy for for this time and era. Looking pretty good. Five is probably not going to suffice here. Huh. I, for some reason, don't remember having one, three, four, and five woods in the bag. Do different characters have different clubs? Or is that just standard? Or is that maybe something that changed from three? I haven't paid it much attention. Yeah, I haven't paid much attention. Yeah, so we got crosswind and slope things, so this is going to be a little complicated. I just want to make sure I get there. So if I overhit slightly, then I think we're I think we're fine. Especially if I miss sweet spot, missing right is probably also better. Yeah, super elevated green, of course. So and then we got some awkward nonsense happening here. And we'll just trickle it up nice and close, I think. Okay. This shot won't hurt a bit. I didn't run. Master of the putter. I believe I'm doing the robot. Very nice. Being left would be ideal, but this is uh, definitely a slightly sus area to go for, especially at full power here. So, yeah. We'll just do a three. And then, of course, proceed to butcher the sweet spot, which would be bad either way. Either way I go. Ugh. Okay, so I get a drop here, which means... Yo, Squidbeak, thanks for the gift subs. Much appreciated, friend. Much appreciated. That is delightful. I forgot you could do that. Alright, so this shot should, uh, get me back in a good place here. In a good enough place here. Hmm. A little bit of... I somehow get the feeling that if I hit this hard enough, these side slopes will cancel each other. So we'll do this. A little right and a little left. That'll work. In general, in general, the harder you hit, then the less that, um, then the less influence that later slopes will have.
Yep, and uh, you you now get to enjoy having a uh, a little a little Yoshi badge, a sub badge, and you can use Wario Gasm anywhere else you want. Yes, a very a very strange looking specimen to be sure. Okay, yeah, definitely around the edges of greens, it always seems like there's more slopes. Not quite a bit happening here. Thankfully, I already have badges on these final holes, so... Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we be sloping. And we be sinking. It's all around overall here. Give me three big coughs. Alright, you're good. Three big coughs coming up. Okay, let's see. Wind and... Let's see. I'm feeling mildly adventurous. We're gonna do a nice big power shot here. Okay. Usually if you only miss by one mark, then the deviations here aren't that bad. Although, that wind was definitely strong enough to put me back in the sand, which is most unfortunate. But, uh... Alright, so then what we do is... I probably will shoot out of one sand trap and end up in the other. So to prevent that, I'm going to aim to the right. Okay. We account for that. All right. Now, extra shot to reach the green in regulation. A lot of stuff. Okay. Oh god, I don't know. I mean, the Shy Guys was like literally the most obvious thing that Camelot could have done that hadn't been done already. I'm still pining hopes that maybe we'll get a, uh, a, the NES Open DK skin, but, um, I would say the most likely thing might be, uh, different color ninjis. But that's honestly almost the only other thing I could think of unless they start, like, maybe digging into, like, uh, Mario, like, Mario Kart Tour stuff. Because, holy hell, there's, like, hundreds of different skins for their characters there. So, it'd be kind of cool to maybe see, see some of those. Like, I don't know. Kimono Daisy looking pretty fine, I suppose. But, eh, you already knew that, so. Alright, save the bird. Um, uh, no, I do not. I do not. I don't know, I feel like, I feel like, um, I feel like free-to-play mobile games have kind of burnt me in the past, and so, it, I don't know, I always end up with some kind of buyer's remorse once, inevitably, you know, the servers go down, like, um, I used, like, the biggest, the, probably the biggest example was Pokemon Duel. I, uh, definitely got invested in, uh, um, dumping some, dumping some money into some of those, like, loot boxes to try to get, you know, some, some super, like, some of those super cool, um, EX and UX, uh, like, sort of shiny and powerful Pokemon figures and all that. And then, although, although the way that Pokemon Duel handled things, I think was quite nice, because they announced, they announced the closure, like, super far in advance, and, uh, um, they heavily discounted the, the um, they heavily discounted stuff at the end. But it, it still, it was still a shame to see the game go, to see the game just, like, get cut off, like. And, I suppose part of the reason why wasn't just to, like, wasn't just to make way for Gen 8, but, um, part of that, maybe that, and the game, I think, um, got kind of bloated after a while as far as, like, just the overall sheer volume of figures and strategies and stuff goes. Um, 
And maybe, and maybe there might have been some controversy regarding um, the way that microtransactions and loot boxes are handled with Europe. Like, I know that, um, but I feel like that's not the full story, but maybe that's part of the story. Although, although I'm pretty sure Pokemon Unite has some, like, pay-to-win shit in it, too. I don't know, but... <laughs> 